right. Hello, hello, hello to whoever might be watching this now or in the future. Um, oh, I need to have something more up here. There we go. Something like that, perhaps. Um, <clears throat> so tonight, I'm going to rearrange my windows. No, I want to rearrange them. There we go. And I'm going to continue working on this. Actually, I should probably here continue working on what I was um, doing last night. <clears throat> kind of build out some of the features, see if we can get the. Um, I'm going to have to refactor this first of all because what I named the portfolio last night should have actually been the watch list. So probably need to do that first. But at any rate, um, one other thing was in here what happened where was it it's in here yeah um a change that i'm going to make is that uh, oh it's an all clear good uh every time <clears throat> i'm accessing something that needs to be that's associated with a user or a profile is what i'm calling it uh, i always have to do this this current i have to get the current identity and then i have to get the current user based on the uh and i have to get the profile based on the current user which is the same thing as your username it turns out there's actually um and there's actually a much much easier way to do this and again i've got some notes here that i want to show how to do this so i'll make sure i don't make too big of a fool out of myself but at any rate um, so the first thing I'm going to do, well, I've already got, okay, so I've already got my, um, let's see here, I've already got, I guess I gotta show it over here. Um, I've already got my, uh, JWT manager object over here, and it turns out that I can, um, actually have it load instead of just having the username, what they call the identity, because the identity is actually part of the JSON web token itself. Um, instead, every time a um, web token is loaded, JSON web token is lo loaded, I can have it uh, automatically load the associated user for that um, for that object. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get that out of the what is it? I put that in the profile, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, that's where I was going to put it. And so let me go over here to my profile, my models file and um <clears throat> first thing i'm gonna need to do is i'm gonna need to get that jwt manager out of the um out of the out of the app and then i'm going to create a uh, def user lookup lookup loader function and that's going to accept the jwt header and JWT payload. I'm only going to use the payload. And inside of there, I'm going to get out of the JWT payload the subject, which is again basically the identity of the current user. And that's going to be in J whoops, JWT payload. And it's going to be uh, in a key called JWT. Now what I can do is I can use that to look up a user and to uh, to look up and return a user. So I'll just say profile because we're in it's in the same file. Uh, query dot filter by where username is equal to subject and return the first. Got to do one more thing here, which is <clears throat> at JWT user looker user uh, user lookup loader. And now I can actually go over to my portfolio resource and I can delete this here and I can delete this here. Now I know I'm getting some squigglies, but I'll fix that in just a second. Delete this here. And I can also get rid of J to get uh, JWT identity and replace it with current user. And all I need to do is um, 
the current user is actually going to be a is actually going to be this profile object here that was returned. So I'll say, whoops, current user. I'll just do this down here as well. Current user, current user, and this will do the same thing. Um, <clears throat> it just it just makes the it just makes the code a lot cleaner. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and run this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a breakpoint here. Okay, so we can see this working. You know, I think I'm going to use Postman tonight. Let's see here, clear out anything. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to create a new workspace for it. Uh, create a workspace and we'll call it, uh, what, what else? Late night API personal only I can access it. Okay. Um, so this is, so this is up and going and I can, this works similar to work, similar to rest book. Um, very, this is a very popular application, but at any rate, I will go ahead and no, 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 that's right, that's right. So I'll go ahead and do a post and do a local host, 5,000. What was the URL I used? What was the endpoint I used? Uh, I set log, auth login. Okay, auth slash login. And that's a post. And raw body in JSON format. Username was Zach, if I'm not mistaken, and the um, password was password. If that worked, I should get back an access token. Excellent. And I've already got a portfolio in here, so let's see here. This one will be... So it'll be slash portfolio, which leads to portfolio resource. Yeah, right here. Okay, great. Uh, I see your portfolio resource. So, okay, so if I go to localhost 5000 slash port portfolio uh, authorization bearer token okay let's send this okay and so since it used the token it has it's come up over here it's dot the breakpoint in the uh, user lo lookup loader uh, that's not showing okay any rate um, so now if I go, oh, key error, JWT, what? Oh, 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 you're an idiot. Ah, uh, that should be sub. Okay. <laughs> let's try that again. Uh, okay, so let's try that again. Okay. And let's go back to Postman. And let's try it again. Error, you're loading the user, Zach. Why? Uh, do, I need to get a, do I need to get a new one here? Here, let's see if I need to get a new one. V and send. Whoa, that's odd. Huh. Oh! to return it jeez okay okay let it restart there we go that's what that's what the problem was okay it was return what's what happened was <clears throat> this was returning none because i didn't have a return there okay so that's um so that's good let's go ahead and uh commit this here and let's say um cleaned up Portfolio. Portfolio. 
um, with current user, something like that. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, all right. So that's one. That's one thing that we can do. So what's another thing? Well, uh, did I ever? I never did a, a register link. That's one thing I need to do is a register link. So let's go into the auth. Let's see here. I need to do a register resource. So that's one other thing I need to do. So I'll do a class register resource. Resource. And I'll do a post as well. Data equals request.getjson. Username equals data. Username. Password equals data. Password. Okay, now. So what I want to do is I want to look up. This actually is ending up being a lot like the code of above, but we do something a little bit different with this code. Uh, query dot filter 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 by uh, username equals username and the first. In this case, we don't want to say if not profile. We want to say if profile because um, we don't want to allow duplicate usernames. And so I would say return uh, error username already exists. And actually, you know, we can go ahead and, yeah, we can go ahead and do that. Username, uh, username already exists. Um, and if not, let's see here, Let me check on something real quick. totally forgot what I was going to do. Oh, um, otherwise what I'll do is I'll create a new profile. Uh, username equals username password equals password. And then I can do a profile.save. And hmm, I'll return ID profile uh, profile dot ID and uh, username profile dot username. And then I'll do an HTTP status dot created. Okay, which is, I believe, a 201. Um, let's see, I think that's... Okay, so let's go over to init. And from auth login and register resource, we will do this. Register resource will go under auth slash register. Okay, that's working. Okay, let's go back over to Postman here. And let's try a new one. Let's go a post. Localhost 5000 slash auth slash register. 
and I'm going to post the body of username. Um, I don't know. Whoops, except I need to do it like this. Username. <laughs> I have the hardest time doing this sometimes. Uh, we will say, I don't know. Harry. Uh, just Harry. H-A-R-R-Y. And then a password. Um, let me see here. This time we'll do uh, PA, and I better write that down, lest I shall forget it. So that's uh, PA percent percent W zero RD. Okay. Okay, uh, and let's send that and see what happens. Okay, something none type is not subscriptable. Uh, what did I do? 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 Ah, I tried to send it as a text. That's the problem. And it's not valid JSON. There we go. Okay, so we have an ID of two, username of Harry. And if I go over to portfolio Harry doesn't have a portfolio so let's create a portfolio for Harry um, so let's do a post and then my so I'm gonna want to do portfolio add coin ID I don't know if I did the delete Hold it. See, manage portfolio resource should not have add in it. That should be like that only. Because it should be the um, the method. It should be the method, not the um the HTTP method, not the path necessarily. Okay, at any rate, this will work now. Um, before I do that, let me, um, I want to export flask app equals name app, and I want to do a flask shell. because I need to go into gecko utils. I need to say from gecko dot, nope, I'm sorry, from app dot gecko. Nope. Simple. Uh, import price. And then I'll say price and coin ID. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, let's see here. Let's get. Let's go over here to Coin Gecko. Uh, go over to the API. Uh, hmm. Um. Let me see if there's an easier way to do that. So, let me see if there's an easier way to do this here. Uh, oh, here, here, here we go. Maybe able to just, no. Hmm, let me see here, I know this one works. See, that's not right, because if you try to use this ID, hmm. let's see, this ID 
works or not. Huh, okay, so I guess that is the right ID. Okay. So I'll go ahead and do that. Dogecoin in USD. Okay, let's go ahead and add one more. Oh. Uh, Solana. Let's get Solana. Um, so price, price, Solana USD. Okay. And then I also need to go ahead and do, I'm going to, I'm going to automate this eventually. Um, Ethereum USD and price Cardano USD. Okay. Um, so I can now create a portfolio with one or more of those. All right, so I'm going to post to um, portfolio coin ID. So I'm going to go local host 5000 slash portfolio slash and we'll do uh, Dogecoin. And I've got to have, no, I don't need a body. I need a, I should need, yes, a JWT. Okay, so now I need to go back to here and I gotta log in. Where's my login, there it is. We'll do Harry, and my password is uh, P A W O R D. Oh, whoops, that's not right. So it'll be uh, P A W zero R D. Okay. Now if I send that, okay. And now if I go over here, I should be able to. Add Dogecoin, and what was the other one I added? Uh, Solana. Added Solana. Now if I just go to Portfolio by itself, uh, localhost 5000 slash port Portfolio Authorization Bearer Token Send there we go, Dogecoin and Solana. Okay, great. <clears throat> okay, so now we're able to register users. So let's go ahead and um, register new users and commit that. Yes. All right. Um, a couple of little cleanup things, though. I really need this to be a watch list. So I'm going to need to do some refactoring here going to be really exciting but um first thing i need to do is just rename this file to watch list i guess uh to watch list what is it where is it come on there we go okay so watch list and everything uh let's see here let's show the let's see let's see what it wants to do here all right, we can do that. Okay. Um, so what it did is it uh, right, right here. Now I'm also going to change the names of these um, resources inside of watchlist.py. So call this watchlist. And I'm probably just going to end up dumping that entire table. Manage watch list. Okay, save that. And now I'll go over here to watch list resource and manage watch list resource. This will become watch list 
resource. And I'll just call this watch list. And then manage watch list resource. And again, watch list. All right. Um, now what I need to do is I need to change the model to watch list. This is going to be, this is going to be, uh. all right, we'll say watch list is the model and watch list here. And I want to rename this to watch list. Show preview, yeah, that's. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. So it's gonna be in resources and main. Uh, okay, so main, import watch list here. And then anywhere over here where I say portfolio, I wanna say watch list, okay, so. Watch list equals watch list. Uh, and up here, we don't want to import watch list. And then we'll say watch list dict, watch list dict. No, for investment in watch list. And then I want to do watch list dict here. And same thing here. <clears throat> okay, let's do this again. Okay. I also need to. Um, Actually, that works. Okay. Uh, oh, and then we will also say watch list and watch list. Okay. Now, um, I want to also include problem is that's going to completely ruin my database. So what I'm going to do is um, something that I probably shouldn't, but uh, I can't drop the table from here. I can query. drop table uh, portfolio because I will one day okay there we go okay now I'll go back down to okay let's see if I do um, export Flask app equals main app. I can do a Flask DB migrate. And it should. No, it's not going to. Oh, no, it did. It picked up my watch. Oh, yeah, because I changed it in here. Uh, okay, now I should be able to do a Flask DB upgrade. And if I refresh, there's my watch list. Good. It's got all of my. Okay, great. Now, if I run this again. over to postman okay so first of all let's register Harry again username Harry already exists what that's not right 
Oh, that, that's right, because I don't need to register. Yeah, I don't need to register. I, I, I only killed the portfolio. Okay, so. I only killed the portfolio. So what I need to do then is I need to create a new portfolio for Harry. And let's see here what if it does. Actually, real quick, let's so we can see what's going on here. <clears throat> uh, let's go into the watch list. <clears throat> Excuse me. And say to uh, current user dot username and make the same change here. Okay. Just so we can see who we're dealing with. Uh, okay, now, okay, now I was too quick. Requested URL was not found. Oh, that's because it's now watch list. Okay, added Solana and Dogecoin. And now if I go to get watch list, token has expired. Okay, so we need to go get a new token. Okay, there we go. That's exactly what I want. Okay. Okay, exactly what I want. All right, so... Um, okay. Refactored portfolio to watch list. Okay, and we'll commit that. I'll go ahead and sync this because I'm going to take a little break. I will be right back. I need to go get something to drink real quick.
All right. So, what else could we accomplish here tonight? Um, I guess we could work on the actual portfolio. <laughs> the sure enough portfolio. Um, Okay. Um, <clears throat> oh, no, 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 no. I need to set it up. I need to set something up. And I've already got it. Something similar. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where is it? Should be in here. Yes. Okay, so if I look at my coin over here, some of these I've got multiples, and I want to be able to get, the, and I always want, of course, the, the most recent one. So what I want to do <clears throat> All right, now what I want to be able to do, actually first, first what I'm going to do because not there's not too much going on here with this so and actually what i need to do is i need to hook this up actually to postgres sql but um i have to figure out how to change my local password uh to do that let's 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 see if i let's see if i can let's see if i can actually successfully do that here real quick i know the one for the mac well, I know the password. I just don't know how. To, the, the problem is changing it. I need to change it because um, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, let me see here. So it's pss, pss, pss. okay. I would really like to. Okay, so. Post, post. I want to change my password at all. Um, how can I in here? That's not gonna connect. Oh, okay. Hold it, hold it, hold it. This may actually be okay. Hold it. I take that back. It's already, um, let's drop. Okay, it turns out that actually, okay, I think it turns out that I'm actually okay. All right, um, I think all I need to do here is create a database and we'll call this, uh, what else, late night API. And now, Okay, because I have to create, I don't have to create any tables. Now what I should be able to do is go over here to my configs. And this one. No, I take that back. Um, do um, PostgreSQL, PostgreSQL. Postgre, post, PostgreSQL. Postgre. SQL plus psycho PG two. Okay, and it's going to be username, password at localhost slash late night API. I think that's all I need to do. Uh, let's see here. If I go through here and I say instead, uh, no, that would be main actually. Import prod config. Prod config. 
make sure that there's nothing else over here that I want. Mm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to... Dev PSQL config. I'm going to do that instead. Um... Because I'll want to use prod later on for something else. So I'll say dev p sql config. And I'll use dev p sql config. Um, okay. Let me see if that does what I want. Okay. Now, first, what I've got to do, though, is. Um, You do flask db init. Migrations already exist. Oh, I, can't, I don't need to do an init. No, I just need to do a flask db upgrade is all I should have to do. Oh, I got a uh, pip install. That's right. Psycho PG2. What? Oh, pip install. Psycho PG2. Okay. And before I forget, add that to requirements.txt. Okay, now let's try it. All right. Let's go over here now. And actually, you know, I should really be using the Azure Databases extension because I can connect to a local account. Give this a few seconds here to catch up. Well, what's it doing? Hmm. Here we go. Uh, let's see here. Let's attach. Want to attach a PostgreSQL account. Okay, so. Um, PostgreSQL. Okay, so it'll be PostgreSQL. Um, actually, it's. Actually, it's over here. Um, if I can get to my config. I can just use this. Alright, and I don't know if I need the Psycho PG2. Yeah, let's go ahead. Must start with Postgre. Okay, let's see if that works. Okay, so far so good. And there are my tables. So the migrate so the migration worked. Okay, great. <clears throat> um All right. And what am I looking for here? Postman. Okay. So now I do need to recreate login. So we will register Harry. Okay, and I, I Harry has an ID of 1. Okay, we'll still we should still be able to log in. Okay, and I'll have to create a new portfolio, but that's okay. Okay, we'll add Dogecoin, and we'll add uh, Solana, and then if I go over here to the watch list, this will not this this should not change. Oh, uh, what happened? Okay, hang on. What happened here? None type has no much recur. Oh, 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 that's because um I didn't put the prices in. Um, okay. Well, we know we know the database is hooked up. We know the database is hooked up. So let's go ahead and implement. Let's go 
go ahead and implement this. And I should be able to um, control shift P. No, 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 no. Control N, control shift P. And if I go language mode and change the PostgreSQL, um, okay, it's connected to Postgre. No, I want to connect to this one instead. There we go. And now I should be able to say select uh, star from profile. That should work. And then um, uh, execute query. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. No, I don't want to save that. And I don't want to save that either. All right. <clears throat> So this is coming together. Let's go ahead and uh, commit our PostgreSQL. Even though we didn't really do that much. Um, config for um, Postgre. Um, now what I want to do is I want to set this up. How do I want to do this? Okay. I want to do this in the gecko utility, so I'm going to close all this stuff here. Uh, simple price. Okay. I don't want to do this brute force. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say get most recent. Okay, so def get most recent um, price. Okay. So what I'll end up doing is saying um, recent <clears throat> coin equals coin dot um, I've already got it over here in my resource right here that's exactly what I want except I don't care about the coin ID okay let's do this here I don't care about this at all I just want to that's all I want. Okay, and then <clears throat> return and then I can return um, recent coin dot timestamp. Um if recent coin because when we start off we're going to have nothing in the coin database and then we ret otherwise return um, date time dot date time dot now minus date time dot time delta seconds equals uh, 600 which will be 10 minutes I think that'll work. Hang on, let me make sure that, that works, does what I would expect it to. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> import date time. And let's say date time dot date time dot now minus date time dot time delta. Seconds equals 600. Okay, no, that works. No, that's that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, so the first thing that I'll do here is hmm. well, if I want to do it for a specific, maybe I should. Maybe I should, yes. Actually, I should do that. Dot filter by, sorry. Oh, 
Come on. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I actually, I actually do want to filter by the coin ID. Okay, so... Um, and what I'll do is... Let's do this real quick. Um, then equals... And then do... Um, date time dot date time time um, dot now minus then okay if seconds is greater than I want to do f okay okay so now what I can do is I can say Delta equals uh, date time dot date Time dot now minus um, get most recent price get most recent price timestamp apparently mumbling is melodic <laughs> uh, for coin ID and um, if Delta dot sec. Uh, no, that's right. If delta. If delta dot seconds is greater than 300, which would be five minutes. Um, return. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, less than less than 300. Less than 300. So if it's been less than five minutes, just return don't do anything okay now when I do my watch list do this um from app.gecko.simple import price. And now, okay, we'll call price investment.coin ID. That'll give us the most recent. Okay. Now, is this running? Oh, shoot. <sighs> I did the wrong one. I'm going to have to wait for it to crash. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Okay. There we go. All right, so if the token hasn't expired, it still didn't work. Use currency, what did I do? Oh, 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 okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll just set a default value. Whoops, for this. I'll just set a default value for this. Okay. Try it one more time. There we go. There we go. And now if I create a new SQL file, mode, PostgreSQL, select star from coin, and execute, there we go. There we go. Okay, so um, <clears throat> let's see here. Let's commit this. Um, update prices if more than five min. Okay. Yes. All right. 
Uh, let's see here. I've been on about an hour. I'm trying to think of what I could do here. It's actually quite a bit for tonight. Now let's push this to GitHub and take a look. Um, oh, <laughs> actually, there is something that I should do. Okay, getting ready for production. Let's see here. So, in getting ready for production, I don't know if I'm going to push this to... I don't know if I'm going to push this to Azure tonight. Um, I guess I could. Um, but... I don't... I obviously don't want to... I, I, I mean... I mean, so, yeah, so my, um, my local passwords, you know, my local password, where is it, config, okay, so my, you know, big deal, my local password is in here, but, um, I want to, of course, I don't want to have this, uh, I want to have this in a secret of some kind. So let's go ahead and use .e and let's let's go ahead and use um, .env to do that real quick. That'll be a that'll be a good way to wrap up, I think. So first thing I'll do is I'll stop the server, okay, and I'll do pip install. What is it? Python dash dot dot env, I think. Yes. Okay. And then I will create a um, over here. I'll create a um, new file and I'll call it .env. Okay. And in here, I'll say um, postgre connection string equals, and I'm just going to use the same one for now because. Okay, I'm going to just use this one for now. Then, if I go over here to config, and I think this will work, um, from uh, what is it? From dot in load uh, import load dot in, and then do this load dot in and I can also have import OS and this should be um, OS dot environ dot get um, whatever I call this here let's go concentrate all right, now let's create a new database over here and call it uh, Late Night API Prod just to see what happens. Okay, so I created the database. Now um, I will over here, whoops, not even Google main. And let's do uh, prod config. Prod config. And now if I do, let's see here, let's get rid of some of these guys here just so I can, okay, so flask. So, um, you know, couldn't I create, could I, no, I'm going to have to... Okay, hang on. First thing I need to do is I need to do... Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. LNA prod. And I also... I'm going to need to connect that. Uh, get a connected... Uh, do a new connected... No, I need databases. Need a new connected account. PostgreSQL simple. Okay, it wants it to... I don't... Okay, let's do this here. 
Okay, there's LNA prod. LNA prod has no tables. Okay. <clears throat> so now if I do an export flask app equals main app. Now do a flask db upgrade. If I refresh, I have my tables back. Okay, so um that works. Okay, then um, added secrets in env4 prod config file. Okay, that's not, that's good. That's good. Okay. That I mean, I technic and technically, I shouldn't put the .env file in there, but I'm not going to worry about it. Right? I mean, I mean, in production, I wouldn't. You know, in production, I wouldn't do that. Um, the garage door is opening at nine o'clock at night. Okay. At any rate, I think I'm going to stop here because if I refresh this now, this should. Uh, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to stop here. I think that's good for tonight. Um, once again, thanks to anybody who is watching or who might be watching in the future. And I will come back uh, soon and uh, continue working on this. So thanks a lot, everybody, and uh, see you later.